Hey, this is John Young. Today we're looking at a battery here. This is from Modiset, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this out. This is a Ryobi, a Ryobi knockoff battery, basically. It is a six amp hour battery, which is equivalent to the one I have in the next inverter. This is also, but this is a genuine Ryobi battery. Six amp hour. Uh, when you look at the wattage on the batteries, this particular battery says it has 222 watts in it, 216 watts. But there should be a little bit more power in this one, this uh, off-brand one from Mod Modiset. So what I'm going to be doing is I've got them both on the inverters here. These are the, the uh, inverters that will give us up to 300 watts of power. I have two lights here that are both, uh, they both have the 150 watt bulbs in those. And we're going to turn these on and we're going to power these lights and then we're going to kind of fast forward through the video and I'm going to let you know the the, the length of run time into both of them and then um, what my thoughts are. Now just going off what we're reading for the labels, these are 150 watt is what they're taking basically in the equivalent the in about an hour's time. So that means that this has 216 watts, this has 222 watts. That should mean that they both can power this lights for a little over an hour if everything is up to specs. So we're gonna see how close they are to those specs. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's give this test a going. So they're all hooked up and I just have to turn the inverters on on the side. I wanna make sure I've got the both buttons at the same time and we'll turn them on and we'll see if I did this right. Oh, I missed that button. Okay, so we're a few seconds off but not, not what. So, we're going to let this video run, and I'll be back to give you my thoughts and conclusions when this test is over. So that was our test. It uh, unscientific, but it'll give you a li little bit of an idea of what they can do. Um, the the Modiset battery ran for 24 minutes. Very surprising. I did not expect that. I expected with a a rating of 222 watts of power containing 20, 222 watts of power at a six amp hour, it should have given me more run, a longer run time. Now the Ryobi gave me a run time of 64 minutes, which is about what I expected. So I was really happy about that. And this battery's been out and it's been used in the mower quite a few times. I had, I actually ran this battery. I ran it, um, charged it, ran it, charged it. I wanted to have a couple of cycles on it before we did this test to make it as, as accurate as possible. Um, now here's the big the big thing is that it, it lasted just short of half, so it's ran, it ran about 40% of the time, roughly maybe maybe 35% of the time of the big one. Let's call it 40% just for easier numbers. The big one is 200 plus dollars, so let's just round it down to 200 dollars. And the money set is around 75 dollars, 70 to 75 dollars. So if you're kind of doing the math. You can almost get three of these for the cost of one of those, which runtime three of these is going to give you a more, a little bit more runtime than one of these. So you're basically getting an equivalent result, I think, for your dollars. It's just that you're getting one of them um, at a cheaper, cheaper price to get into. Now, if you're out and you're doing yard work and such, and you've got a smaller yard and you don't need to be able to run as long, the MySet might be a great option for you. You can get into it. You're going to run your power tools. You'll be able to do things. It's just not going to last as long. If you need optimal runtime, you might be looking at going with the actual name brand main Ryobi batteries to give you the longer runtime that you may desire. So, again, I'll put those links in the description below so you can check out the Mati Set battery from uh, that's coming out of Amazon, and of course, uh, Ryobi gear is all sold at Home Depot and such. So, I'll put those links in the description below so you can check them out. This is John Young. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to WeekendHandyman.com.